Hey guys and welcome to Tutorial Grid. In this episode we're going to be working with green screen. Now uh, we have some green screen footage here that I've already comped out and it looks something a little like this. We got uh, old Sheriff Bob here arresting a couple of couple of teenagers or young 20 year olds making out in a car you know something like that not really uh, the movie is actually called The Hitch uh, I produced it and it was fun but you can check that out and I'll put a link below in the description but anyway this is something what the comp kinda looks like and we're basically going to rebuild this from scratch so to start off you're going to want to go to composition new composition and I'm gonna put this at 1080 because that's what our standard pixel rate is and I'm working in 24 frames per second so 23.976 and uh, that looks pretty good so go ahead and hit OK and I already have my footage in here I have my green screen comp right here and the background effect that I'm going to be using so you go ahead and drag your green screen down this basically is what is going to render out and it won't render any further past this point so we're only going to be dealing with about 10 seconds of footage now the effect that we're going to be using to correctly crop all this green out is going to be what's called a key light effect but there's a couple of things that you have to do before it that I like to do that will make your keying a little bit easier now what we're gonna start out with is what's called our saturation uh, with uh, our hue and saturation plugin basically what we're gonna do is you're gonna go to master and hit greens now this when you hit greens it's only going to capture just this green footage here so go ahead and saturate that up and that's going to lighten it up quite a bit and you don't want to overdo it because if you overkill it you're going to see right over here that you know you're getting some some clipping so you don't want to do that so we're just going to bring that down just a bit to where you get a nice saturated green and you're not even going to worry about this for now then you're going to go into your effects and presets and you're going to type in key uh, or you're going to go down to uh, keying and it's going to be called key light 1.2 now key light is only in CS5 and uh, CS5.5 now in order to get key light for CS4 CS3 or CS2 you're gonna have to go to the key light website and download it from their website and I'll put a link in the description for that as well for all you that actually don't have that but in order to uh, key this out we're gonna go ahead and uh, click our eyedropper tool in our screen color and we're gonna basically eyedrop uh, one of the darker greens because it'll be a little bit easier uh, to key out than doing a brighter green because it's gonna capture pretty much all of this in through here and uh, right here where it says final result you're gonna to wanna to click over to screen matte now this is going to make it look really white and we're gonna get rid of all that but this is just gonna make it easier to work to uh, see what footage you're using to uh, kinda of clean this up a bit now uh, you're gonna to wanna to go into your screen matte uh, drop down box and we're gonna mess around with the clip black levels now the clip black levels is going to make the black all that uh, white go away and that green is going to go away with it notice how right through here you're getting a really nice clippage some of the hair is still there uh, and some of the hair over here kinda left but um, that's going to make this overall look that we're trying to get look a lot better and we're just gonna bring the white level down a little and notice all that the little black splotches that we had through here are now gone so we are headed in the right direction now one thing I do like to do after I get it to about this point is go back up into my final results now this looks pretty good uh, you can mess with it a little bit from uh, from here uh, sometimes if you like to you can do uh, what's called the screen softness and it'll just soften up the edges just a bit but you don't want to do it too much because it'll get through here and you'll see some of this really awkward kind of blending issue and it looks just kinda gross I'm not too appealed with that so I'm gonna bring my softness down just a little bit now sometimes I do like to do what's called a simple choke 
which uh, if you go into your key and presets and type in simple, you will see a uh, matte preset called simple choker. You're going to drag that over on top of there and just kind of bring it up just a hair and that'll get rid of some of that soft. Now, it still has that soft edge, but now it's more of a natural looking edge instead of a really harsh type of edge. We'll just go ahead and go back through here and just kind of see how this looks. But so far, it's uh, looking pretty good. Not as good as I like, I'd like it to look around the, the hair region. Maybe we'll just go ahead and bring this off just a tad. Now this is going to look a lot better whenever you put it on actual footage and we're going to kind of clean all of this up too. So from here uh, what I like to do since we kind of got all this green out is we are going to start color correcting. Now my favorite tool for color correction is curves. You can also use levels but uh, levels are evil. <laughs> Let's just say curves is usually the easiest way to do it because it brings all of your uh, contrastial layers up. But um, easiest way to do this is to kind of bring the black levels all the way down. It's called crushing the blacks. Now you don't want to do it too much because if you do it a lot, it's just going to look like crap. You're not going to see. You're going to. You're losing a little bit of detail. But since we have kind of an overexposed shot, it already kind of looks like crap. So we're going to bring this down just a hair and notice that looks already a lot better. I'm going to bring up some of our brights and bring that down just a tad. Now we're also going to mess with this blue layer. We're going to bring that down to where it'll have a little bit of a yellow tone and it's going to bring out uh, some of our flesh tones in here. It's going to make it look like more like the inside of a car if, if you would. Now we also, to uh, get our background in here, we're going to go back to our uh, project layer and we have this picture that I took of underneath a big bridge that's uh, downtown. <laughs> so uh, you can just kind of mess around with this, move it, and uh, you can, uh, let's see here, I'm going to go ahead and bring this down to where it looks a little bit more natural. No, I don't want to bring it a little bit down. Down a little further. That right there looks pretty good. But notice how it kind of... You can't really tell that it's green screen footage, but I mean, when it's stopped and you're really looking, yeah, you can definitely tell. That's usually how it is on most natural green screen footage selections. But uh, since we have this kind of set up to where we want it, bring this down I want to see that I want to see that plant here we're also going to mess with our curves adjustments over here so we're gonna go ahead and put the curves adjustment on our background layer and mess with the curvature of it and like I said bring down your blacks a little bit we have a kind of a darker tone so it's more set towards the evening I'm gonna go ahead and bring down our whites a little too make this more of an intimate setting for their nice little makeout session. Let's see here. Bring that down. And bring this curvature level up a bit. And bring that down a tad. That looks that looks pretty good, alright. We'll bring that down too. And we're also going to change that blue layer because since we've changed our layer in our foreground, we're going to change the blue layer in the background to kind of match this setting here. Now, this is uh, still looking pretty good. Go ahead and turn this down so we can kind of preview it real quick. Now, this is uh, a, a nice little tool. A lot of times whenever you're working on uh, computers that don't have a lot of memory, that aren't able to process all these effects in real time, you're going to want to put it down from full to third or even a quarter. A lot of the times when I do a lot of compositing, I'll composite it in full and then play it back in a quarter or third. But I'm going to go ahead and press it to a quarter to kind of see how this looks real quick so I can see the blending layers. Now you see this blue here? This is what I'm talking about whenever uh, you're using these little 
effects here. The simple choker is definitely going to help with that. Just go ahead and choke that out a little bit. There we go. Now that got rid of that blue layer there. Let's kind of look around. Looking a lot better. You can't even really notice it's a green screen anymore. He comes around. Yeah. It's uh, looking real good. Real good there. Okay. Now, one other thing, uh, or a couple more things that I do like to do with um, my After Effects uh, green screen things is uh, it's what's called a uh, roll focus. Now, most of the times in these background layers, they're not going to be completely in focus. Now, to help bring your main characters out whenever you're messing around with a green screen, you want to kind of blur that background layer out. Some people use Gaussian blur, but I'm going to go ahead and use uh, the lens blur effect. Now the lens blur effect definitely gives you that real 35 millimeter uh, kind of toning. Now you have your iris sh uh, shape at a hexagon, heptagon. I always use octagon. It gives uh, usually the best results. It really depends on what kind of look you're you're going for. But I like the octagon. But feel free to mess around with those settings. Now I'm going to go ahead and mess around with my iris blade curvature, and that's going to blur this out quite a bit. Oh wait, nope, wrong one. Irish radius. There we go. The radius is going to help me out here. That's a little too much. I'm going to go ahead and uh, and that looks looks pretty good. I kind of like the way that looks. Yeah, it looks real good. All right, but whenever you blur out this background layer, you got to remember you also have this foreground layer that should be a little bit blurred out too. Now in order to get that, I'm going to go up to my layers panel, go to new, I'm going to create a new adjustment layer. Now the adjustment layer is going to affect all of these layers that are underneath the adjustment layer. So whenever you do one effect, it's going to adjust it all completely. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up here to our mat tool. Well, it's our shapes tool, but uh, it's going to create a mat that's going to be onto this uh, adjustment layer. But we're going to go create the ellipse, and we're just going to plop that right down, right on top of her, about right here. This is going to create a kind of soft focus effect. Move this over. Let's round with this over here. Just round, get that just about right. Right whenever they're making out right at the beginning, we're going to want this fall off effect. But we're going to go ahead and put the lens blur effect right down on top of there. And we're going to go ahead and change our iris radius. And we're going to see how this blurs out. Now notice that this is just blurring this... Uh, shape that we created. You can go down to your mask and hit F. Now this is going to bring up your feathering panel and you're just going to feather this out like crazy because you're going to want this to be as soft as possible or whatever softness to your liking. I'm going to soften this up a bit more. Maybe even bring it over a bit. Make it look a little bit more realistic. There. I'll bring this over just a bit. That looks pretty good right there. But at the beginning, they're going to be in focus. And then all of this in the background is going to be out of focus. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, duplicate this adjustment layer. Um, we're going to hit Control D. We're going to duplicate that. Now this is going to be what we're going to want to see at first. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit Add. And we're going to hit Subtract. And that's going to subtract this and blur all of this out. Now that that's done, we're going to go ahead and do this. And we're going to hit Mask, so M. We're going to do Add. So 
I'm going to go ahead and deselect there. And we are going to take this. And since this is all the way completely blurred out, and this is what we're seeing right now, we're going to keyframe this. This is going to be fun. So click T. And notice opacity is at 100. That's good. So we're just going to hit opacity or our little time clock tool. And that's going to create a keyframe right down here. And we're going to go over till we see them go, oh gosh, they're, that cop just saw us making out. We're going to get a ticket. Oh no. So we're just going to keep kind of going over. Oh boy. So about right there. I'm going to go ahead and create another keyframe and we're going to hit zero. Enter. All right. So that is going to make this to where it's going to be that. So that's going to be completely in focus and our background still blurred out. But what about this ground? We're going to go ahead and blur that back in. So we're going to go back up to this adjustment layer. We're going to go ahead and cue that back on. We're going to hit T for our opacity. And we're going to go and do this. Bam! So since we started out at 100 on this one, we're going to start out at 0 on this one. So hit 0. And then we're going to go back over to where we had that other keyframe. And hit 1 or click in 100. And that's going to slowly blur this in and what we call that is a digital roll focus. Now you can tweak this as much as you want. Pretty good that rolls back in and then you have this layer over here blurred out. Whoops. You have this kind of blurred out a bit so you can't really see her on the side. That looks pretty good. Maybe I'll bring that down a little bit. Let's see here. Uh, bring this down just a tad. Looks a little over overdone. A little too overdone still. Bring that down a little bit. Looks pretty good. It looks about normal. But now we have our background out of focus. We have our foreground on focus, and then we have what's right in the middle all in focus. So whenever he comes back in and he's gonna give those guys a ticket, they're gonna get a ticket, and you're gonna see it. Now another thing that I do like to do uh, in in uh, my t my uh, compositing, I also like to change what's called my aspect ratio, which uh, I like. I really really like letterbox, so I'm going to go ahead and letterbox this. So easy way to do that is just hit 900 under your height if you're using. Uh, HD footage at uh, 1080, you can hit nine, uh, 900 on your height and it will basically litter box that out because it changes the side. But that looks pretty good. Not bad and if you want to you can go into and uh, c also create uh, another mask so you can create a new solid, create a black solid 900 pixels and double click on your ellipse tool and that'll create another mask and we are going to subtract and feather I'm just hit F and feather that out and it creates this nice little uh, this nice little little vignette that's what it's called a vignette around our actors so you can see even more detail yeah I don't like that black vignette there hold on Blur it out a little more. A little more. Uh, okay, that's pretty good right there. That kind of creates a little bit more intimate of a setting for that boy there to get his, uh, his ticket. But anyway, uh, this is the green screen tutorial. I'll probably do a couple more green screen tutorials for like action footage, but uh, I possibly will be posting the uh, project files up onto maybe a uh, mega upload so you guys can download them and uh, kind of mess around with them on your for yourself and I'm also creating a new kind of texture package for uh, our Photoshop tutorials. so make sure to check out 
that whenever it comes in. So tell all your friends if you like uh, After Effects tutorials. But anyway, this is Cherokee at Tutorial Grid, and I hope you've had a good one.